John Rolfe was one of the early English settlers of North America. He is credited with the first successful cultivation of tobacco as an export crop in the colony of Virginia and is known as the husband of Pocahontas, daughter of the chief of the Powhatan Confederacy. Biography, Rolfe was born in Heacham, Norfolk, England is the son of John Rolfe and Dorothea Mason, and was baptized on May 6, 1585. At the time, Spain held a virtual monopoly on the lucrative tobacco trade. Most Spanish colonies in the New World were located in southern climates more favorable to tobacco growth than the English settlements, notably Jamestown. As the consumption of tobacco had increased, the balance of trade between England and Spain began to be seriously affected. Rolfe was one of a number of businessmen who saw the opportunity to undercut Spanish imports by growing tobacco in England's new colony in Virginia. Rolfe had somehow obtained seeds to take with him from a special popular strain then being grown in Trinidad and South America, even though Spain had declared a penalty of death to anyone selling such seeds to a non-Spaniard. Sailing with Third Supply to Virginia, a project of the proprietary Virginia Company of London, Jamestown had been established by an initial group of settlers on May 14, 1607. This colony proved as troubled as earlier English settlements, and after two return trips with supplies by Christopher Newport arrived in 1608, another larger than ever relief fleet was dispatched in 1609, carrying hundreds of new settlers and supplies across the Atlantic. Heading the third supply fleet was the new flagship of the Virginia Company, the Sea Venture, carrying Rolfe and his wife, Sarah Hacker. The third supply fleet left England in May 1609 destined for Jamestown with seven large ships, towing two smaller pinnaces. In the southern region of the North Atlantic, they encountered a three-day-long storm, thought to have been a severe hurricane. The ships of the fleet became separated. The new sea venture, whose caulking had not cured, was taking on water faster than it could be bailed. The admiral of the company, Sir George Summers, took the helm and the ship was deliberately driven onto the reefs of Bermuda to prevent its foundering. All aboard, 150 passengers and crew, and one dog, survived. Most remained for ten months in Bermuda, subsequently also known as the Summers Isles, while they built two small ships to continue the voyage to Jamestown. A number of passengers and crew, however, did not complete this journey. Some had died or been killed, lost at sea, or left behind to maintain England's claim to Bermuda. Because of this, Although the Virginia Company's charter was not extended to Bermuda until 1612, the colony at Bermuda dates its settlement from 1609. Among those left buried in Bermuda were Rolfe's wife and his infant daughter, Bermuda Rolfe. In May 1610, the two newly constructed ships set sail from Bermuda, with 142 castaways on board, including Rolfe, Admiral Summers, Stephen Hopkins, and Sir Thomas Gates. On arrival at Jamestown, they found the Virginia colony almost destroyed by famine and disease during what has become known as the Starving Time. Very few supplies from the third supply had arrived because the same hurricane that caught the sea venture badly affected the rest of the fleet. Only 60 settlers remained alive. It was only through the arrival of the two small ships from Bermuda, and the arrival of another relief fleet commanded by Lord de la War on June 10, 1610 that the abandonment of Jamestown was avoided and the colony survived. After finally settling Ina Euro although his first wife, the English-born Sarah Hacker and their child had died prior to his journey to Virginia Euro Rolf began his long-delayed work with tobacco. Orinoco Tobacco, a cash crop, in competing with Spain for European markets, there was another problem beside the warmer climates the Spanish settlements enjoyed. The native tobacco from Virginia was not liked by the English settlers, nor did it appeal to the market in England. However, Rolfe wanted to introduce sweeter strains from Trinidad, using the hard-to-obtain Spanish seeds he brought with him. In 1611, Rolfe is credited with being the first to commercially cultivate Nicotiana tobaccum tobacco plants in North America. Export of the sweeter tobacco beginning in 1612 helped turn the Virginia colony into a profitable venture. Rolfe named his Virginia grown strain of the tobacco Orinoco, possibly in honor of tobacco popularizer Sir Walter Raleigh's expeditions in the 1580s up the Orinoco River in Guiana in search of the legendary city of gold, El Dorado. 
the appeal of Orinoco tobacco was in its nicotine, and the conviviality of its use in social situations. His first harvest of four barrels of tobacco leaf was exported from Virginia to England in March 1614, and soon, Rolfe and others were exporting vast quantities of the new cash crop. New plantations began growing along the James River, where export shipments could use wharfs along the river. In 1612, Rolfe established Varina Farms, a plantation along the James River about 30 miles upstream from Jamestown, and across the river from Sir Thomas Dale's progressive development at Henricus. Pocahontas Rolfe married Pocahontas, daughter of the local Native American leader Pahathan on April 5, 1614. A year earlier, Alexander Whitaker had converted Pocahontas to Christianity and renamed her Rebecca, when she had her baptism. Rolf agonized over the potential moral repercussions of marrying a heathen, and wrote a long letter to the governor requesting permission to wed her. Richard Buck officiated their wedding. Pahathan gave the newlyweds property just across the James River from Jamestown. They never lived on the land, which spanned thousands of acres and instead lived for two years on Rolf's plantation, Varina Farms, across the James River from the new community of Henricus. Their son Thomas was born on January 30, 1615. Their marriage created a climate of peace between the Jamestown colonists and Pahatan's tribes for several years. In 1615, Ralph Hamer wrote that since the wedding we have had friendly commerce and trade not only with Pahatan but also with his subjects round about us. 45. The land gifted by Pahathan was willed to Rolf's son Thomas, who in 1640 sold at least a portion of it to Thomas Warren. Smith's Fort was a secondary fort to Jamestown, begun in 1609 by John Smith. John and Rebecca Rolf traveled to England on the Treasurer, commanded by Samuel Argyll, in 1616 with their young son. They arrived at the Port of Plymouth on June 12 and Rebecca was widely received as visiting royalty but settled in Brentford. However, as they were preparing to return to Virginia in March 1617, Rebecca became ill and died. Her body was interred in Gravesend St. George's Church. Their two-year-old son Thomas survived, but was adopted to Sir Louis Stikely and later to John's brother, Henry Rolfe. John and Tom Acoma returned to Virginia. Late Life, Death, Heritage, in 1619, Rolfe married Jane Pierce, daughter of English colonist Captain William Pierce and Jane Eales. They had a daughter, Elizabeth, in 1620, who married John Milner of Nance Emmond, Virginia and died in 1635. Rolfe died in 1622 after his plantation was destroyed in a Native American attack. It remains unclear whether Rolfe died in the massacre or whether he died as a result of illness. His widow Jane married Englishman Captain Roger Smith three years later. He was the son of John Smith and Thomasine Manning. Rolfe's son with Pocahontas, Thomas, who grew up in England, married Elizabeth Washington in September 1632 at St. James's Church in Clerkenwell and they had a daughter Anne in 1633. Elizabeth died shortly after Anne's birth. Thomas returned to Virginia two years later, where he married Jane Poitras. Her English parents were Francis Poitras and Alice Payton. Thomas and his second wife had one child, Jane, who married Robert Bowling in 1675 and had a son, John, in 1676. She died later that same year. Heritage and Legacy The strain of tobacco cultivated by Rolf was the export cash crop that helped make the Virginia colony profitable. It was the mainstay of the farming plantations for generations. Huge warehouses, such as those on Richmond's Tobacco Row, attest to its popularity. Even almost 400 years later, tobacco figures prominently in Virginia's economy. In eastern Virginia, State Route 31 is named the John Rolfe Highway. It links Williamsburg with Jamestown, the southern entrance to the Colonial Parkway, and via the Jamestown Ferry leads to the rich farming area of Surrey County and Sussex County, ending in Wakefield. Virginia. John Rolfe Drive, in the town of Smithfield in Isle of Wight County, Virginia, connects Battery Park Road with Magruder Road, and is named for Rolfe. John Rolfe Middle School, in Enrico County, Virginia, one of Virginia's eight original shires of 1634, 
is named for him. Varina Magisterial District in Enrico County is named for Rolf's Varina Farms Plantation, where the tiny village was also the first county seat. The abandoned corridor planned for State Route 288 in western Enrico County became a connector street, rather than a limited access highway. It was named the John Rolfe Parkway. Rolfe, Iowa, in Pocahontas County, Iowa is named for Rolfe. Rolfe wrote in 1619 of the incidental introduction of African slaves to Virginia from a passing ship, recording that there came in a Dutch man of war that sold us twenty niggers on August 31st of that year. In 1961, the Jamestown Foundation of the Commonwealth of Virginia offered a $500 award for the best historical information on Rolfe's appearance and mannerisms. In popular culture, Rolfe was portrayed by Robert Clark in the 1953 low-budget film Captain John Smith and Pocahontas. He was portrayed by John Stevenson in TV Reader's Digest 1955 episode America's First Great Lady. Rolfe is portrayed by Christian Bale in the 2005 film The New World. In the Disney 1998 direct-to-video animated film Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World, he was voiced by Billy Zane. In S.M. Sterling's novel Conquistador, a fictional descendant and namesake of Rolfe son of Thomas Rolfe, who in reality fathered only a daughter, founds a country called New Virginia after opening a door between dimensions to a world where Europeans never discovered North America. See also, notes. External links, John Rolfe at Find a Grave, John Rolfe's letter to Sir Thomas Dale, 1614. Living History Associates Limited. Rolfe portrayed by Dick Cheatham.